almost always insurance companies will say, well, you weren't really hurt because you didn't get medical attention right away. It's totally unfair. How do you know if you've got a claim after being involved in a car crash? Well, that's what we're going to ask today on Ask the Lawyer. I'm Rob Rosenthal with AskTheLawyers.com. My guest on this episode is attorney David Klebanner of the Klebanner Law Firm in Denver. David, thank you for making some time to answer our questions today. Sure, Rob. Glad let's to be talk, here. Let's talk about uh, injury claim. What makes a strong injury claim, in your opinion? Well, when any business or an individual or a corporation, a governmental entity violates community safety rules and hurts somebody, there's probably an injury claim. What makes a claim strong is really if the person who is hurt tells the truth, nothing about nothing but the truth about what happened. And second, if that person really wants to get on with their life versus focusing on the claim. So if a person is hurt, talks about it, tells the truth, and tries to get on with their life, that's the strongest possible claim that can be brought. How does that help, uh, the wanting to get on with their life? How does that help the claim? Well, insurance companies, and we'll talk about them particularly, and who look at any claim are always going to try to make the person who's hurt somehow less than a desirable person. So they'll look at whether a person is not working and they'll claim they should be working uh, even if the person's hurt uh, or insurance company will say that the person is uh, telling doctors about their legal claim as opposed to just getting medical help to get better so the less a person really focuses on those kinds of things and just does what a person who's hurt would normally do then those kind of other things cannot be used against them unfairly always but can't be used against them and I would imagine uh, those are the kind of things you let your attorney focus on while you focus on just getting well and that sort of thing. Are there some Absolutely. things, David, that people can do right away that might mm -hmm. uh, damage their case? Well, there are a number of things. Uh, let's say in a, in a car crash situation, uh, one thing that often hurts claims is that people who are hurt try to uh, tough it out. They don't get medical attention right away. Almost always insurance companies will say, well, you weren't really hurt because you didn't get medical attention right away. It's totally unfair, but the, really my advice is someone should never see a doctor or any medical provider if they don't need it. But if they suspect they might have been injured in any kind of incident, uh, they should try to get medical attention. They need that documentation. So that's something that's often used uh, against people. Uh, another thing that can really hurt a claim or destroy it is just waiting too long before bringing a claim. There are laws called statutes of limitation, which will bar claims in some cases if you wait two years, sometimes three. And if it's the government involved, you need to bring a claim letter notice within 182 days or your claim is, is barred forever. So waiting too long is another problem that I see a lot where a good claim, a valid claim, is destroyed because somebody just waited too long. Mm. Also, I would imagine, even if the statute of limitations doesn't get you, evidence gathering becomes much more difficult with the more time you you take. Exactly. That's right. That's why it's, it's good, really, to talk to an attorney who, if the claim is valid, will start investigating the facts and even can write a letter to, let's say, a business and say, preserve the evidence that's out there versus destroying it. So, yes, that kind of delay can make a big difference, too, just in terms of the facts that are out there and witnesses who are out there. You talked about getting medical attention. Uh, are mm -hmm. there things, do I need to be careful about what I do or don't say to the doctors and nurses who are, who are offering that medical care? A little bit. Uh, sometimes if a person who's hurt talks to a doctor and talks about a lawsuit or a legal claim, that goes into the medical records. Mm. Sometimes doctors who can be very suspicious generally of lawyers because they worry themselves about getting sued mm. might have raised, gets their hackles raised. Uh, but worse, uh, what will happen is often insurance companies, if a claim is brought, will look at those records and try to make it out, make out the idea or to afford the idea that the client is less interested in getting care, but is trying to uh, get medical care with the desire of helping a claim. It's almost never true, but that's why it's generally better not to talk to doctors about a claim itself. Just 
talk to them about your medical injuries and your and what you need, but not about a claim or not even in any detail about how you got hurt. Uh, you might see her in a car crash, but the those extra details don't really help and often backfire. That's great advice. So what about uh, insurance companies, David? There's a good chance I'm going to hear from uh, probably my own insurance company, but the other uh, party's insurance company as well. I would assume I need to be careful in that situation as well. Again, I don't want people to get too alarmed because many of my clients actually give statements to insurance companies. The best advice is really not to not to give those kinds of statements. But I don't want people to be too alarmed because most of my clients do. They tell the truth and it's really fine. That would probably, uh, if you followed the advice up till now and had uh, an attorney on your side, that'd be a good time to say, uh, just speak to my attorney, correct? Exactly, yes. Uh, any other common mistakes, David, that you see in these injury cases that people should be aware of? Occasionally, uh, I will see clients, especially in car crashes, but it can be in, in premises cases where they may fall. Uh, they feel, well, in a car crash case, they might feel sorry for the person who caused the accident and not call the police. And then things aren't documented. It becomes much more difficult later to determine what happened, even if the other person was clearly at fault. So really, one should always uh, contact the police and let the police come and investigate any accident where there's any possibility of, of injury or, or any substantial property damage. And if somebody falls somewhere on premises, if they can, they should report that right away. So an incident report is done. If they wait too long, even a few days, always the question is raised, well, did it really happen where you say it happened or what really happened or what were the conditions? So those kinds of delays, which are understandable, often can be mistakes that really make a difference and, and harm a, a valid claim. All great advice as usual, David. Thank you so much for helping us out and answer our questions today. Thank you, Rob. That's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been attorney David Klebanner of Denver. If you want the best information or you're ready to choose a lawyer that lawyers choose, make sure to visit askthelawyers.com first. Also, please take a sec to like, share, and subscribe by clicking on the button below. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Rosenthal with askthelawyers.com.